dry flaky and eczematic skin can be the pits but here's a DIY on how to give yourself smooth radiant sexy soothe skin I started experiencing eczema or atopic dermatitis a few years back it came because I had allergies my skin was easily irritated I even struggle with sore and flaky patches but more on that later at this point I decided to make my own moisturizer the first step is coconut oil it contains lauritic acid which is a type of fat that's found in mother's breast milk the acid is used to treat a lot of different viral infections and it causes the body to convert it into monolurin which fights bacteria fungus and viruses Next up, some shea butter. It has antioxidants such as vitamin E, anti-inflammatories like vitamin A, fatty acids such as cinematic acid. All of those are good for you. Next up, you can use aloe juice or aloe gel. I like gel for the consistency. It's another anti-inflammatory. It's hydrating and it even helps to treat the skin if you have sunburn. So of course it's gonna be good for your daily moisturizer. Next up, the Jamaican black castor oil, which is filled with all the goodies. Rhinolytic acid is proven to be an anti-inflammatory, so it can calm down inflammation in the skin. It's antifungal, it is antibacterial, it helps avoid possible complications associated with eczema. Honey is a humectant, so it attracts moisture, and it helps to eliminate dry botches, but it also has the ability to help regenerate new skin growth. We have the Aveeno Eczema Relief because it feels really good on the skin, and although natural remedies are awesome, it's okay to include non-natural stuff if it works for you. A little bit of the Aveda Rosemary Mint Oil. I'm using that as an essential oil and because I like the smell. We're going to blend it for a while. While it's blending, I'll tell you a little bit more about dry cracked skin can allow bacteria and infection to enter the body. So we want to make sure to avoid that and to properly moisturize the skin. And also, if you have an eczematic breakout, we want to make sure that we're treating the symptoms as naturally as possible. Here's a little bit of the Bold and Shea oil because the mixture was a little too thick for me. I wanted to thin it out a little bit. Now I'm just gonna pour it in my container. I store it in containers like this, either in my refrigerator or on my dresser. And then when I need it, I just rub some on my skin. Make sure to subscribe, share, rate, and comment. If you try this out, let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear uh, your opinion of it. Once again, share, subscribe, and comment.